Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon, good morning. It is the Earthmaster back here on this July 3rd, 2023. It's about 10.04 a.m. here in Texas. Still out here in Texas. Uh, we didn't get a chance to do an update last night. Ended up chasing some storms out in the middle of nowhere outside of Lubbock, Texas area. Uh, so we didn't get in until late last night. Goodness. A 4.2 earthquake uh, early this morning, it looks like, within the last couple hours. Puerto Rico area, of course, this is the swarming region that does see quite a bit of earthquake activity. The movement up here around the Puerto Rico Trench has since died down. Uh, that activity uh, was kicking up here over the past few days, but it looks like things are taking a little quiet spell for now. As uh, far as the West Coast activity goes, very minimal movement. Let's go ahead and check out the 2.5 map and above. Only one earthquake up here into the Redding area, 2.5 near Bella Vista. 17 kilometers deep for that uh, earthquake and for the most of the movement here across the state of california very quiet across the plate boundary that's uh of course the san andreas fault only microquake activity kicking up here currently across the area uh, into the wyoming area we did see a 2.0 uh, let's double check the wyoming station here and see what we have no uh, doesn't look like any major swarming going on things look uh Fairly minimal, fairly calm. Uh, let's see here. Back out of here. Oklahoma, Texas, very minimal activity. We've seen massive amounts of oil fields in our travels so far. And smelt them, too. They're pretty strong uh, once they're running. Uh, South America, what do we got here? A couple fours kicking off here overnight. And yesterday, some movement here along the Peru Chile Trench. Some deep, some shallow. Nothing major going on, though. As far as uh, activity goes in that region, getting the return of some uh, some good movement here across the Tonga area, Vanuatu as well. We did see an earthquake here along the Kermadec Trench yesterday. That 5.2 coming in uh, into the area. As far as recent activity goes, it looks like a 4.7 into the Indonesia region, New Guinea. Uh, that earthquake uh, was uh, looks like they had a 5.4 prior to that uh, last night into that region. But overall, seismic activity looks to be uh, picking up here across the area of the Kermadec Trench, Tonga Trench area, including some deeper movement quakes here with a 4.6, 437 kilometers deep into the area. Uh, a little bit of movement here across the Mariana Trench. Most of this activity looks uh, very small. Um, I can't say microquake activity, but uh, also very shallow movement for uh, mid four range earthquakes. A little bit of activity here off the coast of Sumatra. Some five, it looks like a 5.2 from yesterday and a 4.7. Nothing shown up there today as far as earthquake activity goes, at least according to the USGS. Uh, let's see what else we have here, and then we'll jump into space weather activity. Some movement out here around the Red Sea. Uh, 4.2 just inland here, it looks like. 10 kilometers deep and also up here near Iraq. Iran area, 4.3. Uh, from yesterday both those earthquakes here from yesterday atlantic ocean pretty quiet except for one earthquake here well north of the iceland area and well off the coast of uh, greenland 4.4 in the greenland sea 10 kilometers deep for that earthquake uh, so things just kind of kind of uh, staying uh, elevated somewhat but no major earthquake activity currently within the last 24 hours nothing going on far as the uh, trimmer department goes of course, we did have a large X flare last night kick it up here from, of course, this uh, sunspot region 3354. Let's see, there we go. We got uh, an image of it from yesterday. This is from the solarham.net site. Notice that beautiful peak. I told you it was getting ready to produce an X flare. It was looking super dynamic, but for whatever reason, it waited until it was out of view. Well, it was still within view to a point, but it was not directly lined up, as you can see, with the Earth-Sun plane. It was way over here. This was yesterday's image, so notice how uh, complex that was. A lot of different structure into that sunspot region. The latest imagery here still shows fairly complex structure in that sunspot, but much further on the northwestern quadrant of the sun. Uh, if anything, if it does blast off another x flare, that could uh, create some issues with the... Uh, the flare itself, but far as any massive CME being earth directed, uh, that's not going to happen over there on that position of the sun. So we are left with uh, 
a little growing sunspot down here actually looking fairly complex massive not quite as uh, um, interesting as this regional sunspot up here but uh, we'll continue to watch this area that's going to be number uh, 3359 3358 it's much further of course on the Sun here away from the southeastern quadrant uh, kind of rotating here or at least uh, uh, traveling towards this area far as the visible disc goes uh, we got uh, quite a bit of sunspot region look at that area up here beautiful 3354 that's the one that did produce the X flare um, does not appear to have a, launched a CME so no CME was directed at us uh, but that did produce an R3 radio blackout due to the, the flaring itself uh, no major CMEs have been earth directed or produced so we're looking at very minimal conditions here for the space weather activity uh, storm prediction center here today well there's not a whole lot going on here in Texas today there's a uh, looks like maybe some scattered thunderstorm activity out here we're just kind of watching most of the movement today is going to be a ways away from our area uh, and there's not even any major significant weather outbreak activity today so just a slight risk two percent chance for tornado probability across areas there listed on the map uh, tomorrow looks about the same although we are looking at this system here kind of scooting its way down south into uh, the southern plains area on day three looks like uh, kansas and oklahoma going to be getting in on some uh Severe weather potential, so we'll continue to watch that, of course, and report back on that. All right, folks, I uh, hope everyone's having a great day. Fourth of July tomorrow, we're going to be out here in Texas for Fourth of July, so we'll see what we can uh, pick up, maybe shoot some uh, some live video for you guys out here. Of course, California really can't. Uh, there, there's actually towns over there, cities that are you can't even light fireworks within the city limits, you know. That's a, a little disappointing not good uh so but that's california and i'm sure some other states but out here in texas there's uh there's lots of fireworks everywhere so hopefully tomorrow we'll be uh providing some uh some shows for you guys out here but in the meantime uh we'll see you guys back here a little bit later tonight of course uh i think we're going to be sticking around town here uh we're out here around the central texas area there's not a whole lot of storm activity popping up today, so we're probably going to be uh, make sure we're here at the motel room uh, most of the day and night, and we'll get an update in a little bit later on this evening. Have a good one, folks. Catch you guys back out here later tonight. Peace out.